Now y'all see my bathroom. I cleaned the floor yesterday. What up, Crackhead Nation? It is the girl, Princess Galaxy. That's me. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about what I am planning on bringing to K pop concerts or just any concert, really, post COVID. So, if you're watching this, we made it. Wait, what's that Drake cover? If you're watching, if you're reading this, we made it. When, when you, when you. So basically, if you're watching this, you made it through the pandemic and girl, I'm gonna give you a clap and a shoulder pat. A clap and a shoulder pat. Hey, clap, shoulder pat, clap. After all the time and after all the work we've done to make sure that, you know, <laughs> okay. After all the time that we've been inside and we've been making sure not to spread COVID and things like that and following precautions by the government and stuff like that, I am so ready to go out and I hope this list helps you because I'm definitely buying all of these things on this list. So yeah. Also, I wanna let you guys know that everything I'm gonna be talking about in this video is linked in the description to Amazon or otherwise if it's from another website. And I will be taking a percentage from each of your purchases, so. Just wanted to let you know. All right, let's start. So first I found this and I was literally like, oh my God, I have to put this on the channel. I have to show everyone. It is the BT21 Cream Shop collaboration and they are selling basically this cute ass sanitizer spray, like BT21 themed sanitizer spray. And that was obviously one of the things I was gonna take to me to, you know, concerts in the future is some form of hand sanitizer. But personally, I like the spray sanitizer because like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little more luxury, you know, it's like squirt, squirt, like if that's cute, but like, you know, I like the spray. It's like, ugh. and then you might like spray on yourself, but like that wouldn't really make any sense, but I guess you could sanitize yourself. Even though I still feel like COVID, like, you know, it's lessened, especially in America, like we're back to normal, basically. Most places, like 90, probably 99% of America's opened up by this point. But I still think it's good to have hand sanitizer just because of like common germs, like, you know, like catching a cold and stuff. Like, you know, obviously everyone talked about how last year, like they didn't really get sick because they were wearing masks or like they were like, you know, having like a million bottles of hand sanitizer in their house. But I also think like we can take that into the future and like, you know, just have hand sanitizer during public places in general, like a lot of people have before. Back in the day when I had sanitizer on my backpack, it was from Bath and Body Works. So <laughs> it wasn't really to, you know, sanitize my hands to keep me safe. It was to smell like Japanese cherry blossom during third period, so. That's the tea on that. I also found another hand sanitizer spray for people who just like don't really care or just want one off of Amazon. I found the Myers brand, Mayers. Well, I live in the Midwest, so I say Meyer like Mayers. So that's kind of like my thing. I'm thinking about getting the Myers hand sanitizer spray and the BT21 sanitizer spray because obviously BT21, like BTS owns my soul at this point, like basically Korean pop culture owns my soul at this point. But also the fact that Myers, like Mayers or whatever brand this is, I love like their scents and their products and stuff. Like they sell them at Meyer, ironically. And like I tried them and it's just lovely and it's lavender flavored flavor, <laughs> lavender scent. I don't be eating sanitizer. <laughs> don't tell anybody that. Next is a proper face mask. Now we've all heard, you know, throughout the whole pandemic for, people been saying 15 months since March of last year. So I guess, yeah, 15 months. But throughout this whole pandemic, people have been like, oh, you know, wear a mask that's comfortable for you and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And, you know, I didn't really take it to heart until like, the end of the pandemic so i guess like january of this year but honestly i went to the doctors um about a month ago almost and they gave me a mask because i didn't have one you know and it was literally so comfortable it was adjustable and it was cotton and i was like oh my god i've been missing out on an amazing mask this whole time so i've been looking online for masks just in case i need to have one and if i want to be in a public space and if i'm you know if i just don't if I wanna wear a mask, like, you know, as a fashion statement or to be cute or something like that. I saw this mask by Slip and Slip is a brand, this is not sponsored by the way, 
<laughs> but I'm getting there. So Slip is a brand that I've been looking at for a while and they sell like silk and like, you know, luxury pillows and stuff like that. So they make like pillowcases and like sleeping masks for your eyes, but they came out with like a line of face masks and I recently found them on Mercari and I think I'm planning on probably buying them from there. So if you guys don't know, Mercari is a website similar to, you know, like any online sale website. They have buyer protection and I use them all the time. And actually, if you decide to buy something today, you can get $10 off your first purchase with the link in my bio. I've been using Mercari for years. I used to sell on there a lot. Well, I also use Mercari, not just for my wardrobe of life in general, but I use my $10 off coupon to buy an album from Blackpink that I haven't been able to find in any stores. So I also use it for collecting things as well, especially with K-pop. But yeah, going back to the mask real quick, like that mask looks so comfortable. Literally, I I will probably buy it after this video. <laughs> like non spot slip if you wanna come through and sponsor me. <laughs> then come through, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Next is a mask holder. And I honestly, I've also been sleeping on this because during the pandemic, I didn't really do much. Cameron went to work because he was an essential worker. Shout out to the essential workers because <laughs> they did so much for us, but I'm sidetracking now. So when Cameron went to work during the pandemic, I would just stay home. I didn't even really go outside. Um, I would just stay home and be depressed. And, and so basically when it came to mask holders, I've only seen like old people use them for glasses. And I also used them in high school when I had like basketball games and stuff like that. So the mask holder thing is honestly something that I'm probably gonna end up buying. And they have this cute little chain one that I put in the link in the description. It's basically like a like a cool, fashionable, kind of reminds me of like e-girl, like e-boy vibe. But I just thought it was super cool. And it's something you guys will probably end up using and I might use as well, especially if it's like an on and off mask situation. Cause you gotta take it out of your purse and then you put it on or you gotta get it out of your pocket and then you're already holding something else and it's just a pain in the ass so definitely a mask holder next is a portable fan and god i wish i had one right now on my person so like i said with everything else on this list i've been sleeping on portable fans i saw a lady the other day and she had two portable fans on her chest and it was like around her face like around her neck and it was like blowing at her face i was like this lady is living in like 2029 or something like that like seriously and they're all over amazon i found one which is like obviously cute and sleek and stuff like that it's actually a rechargeable fan it's a portable fan that recharges and not only does it recharge but it can charge your phone it can be used as like a portable charger like <laughs> bitch that's iconic so the next thing that i'm also going to be getting <laughs> or that I recommend you get because I actually already have this item <laughs> is a portable charger. So just like with the fan, like I was saying, it's basically a portable charger. It's like a basic thing that you wanna take to any concert or event that you're going to. Obviously, if you're like if you're like me and vlogging and things like that during events or you take a lot of videos, it doesn't even matter if you're like a YouTuber or not. If you're just vlogging, if you're just taking videos for people, if you're taking pictures constantly on your phone, like during a concert day, you definitely want a portable charger on you. And portable chargers make it through security. I feel like a lot of people don't know that, so they just like suffer. But if you show security your charger, it's not like, oh, it's a bomb or anything. Like you're good, you know what I mean? So definitely invest in a portable charger. I found a portable charger set for $10 each, it's 22. At the time of recording this, it's like 20 something dollars. It might be up to 22 at this point, but I think it's a great deal because it stores a lot of battery. And even if like you're with someone else, like if you're a parent buying this for your kid and like you guys are both going or like you're with your partner or with a friend or something like that, or, or if you just want two batteries, if one die, which that would take a lot of manpower to kill one battery, you would have to literally have it on the charger all day. <laughs> But I would recommend that for, you know, just any concert going or any life going, like for real. 
And finally, a clear mini bag. So a clear mini bag can come from many a brand, but I found some cute ones that I thought you guys would like on my Amazon store. And I saw some, I saw an Adidas one, and I also saw just like a regular basic um, clear mini backpack. When it comes to going to concerts, I don't, like I always say, I don't recommend you bring a lot of stuff, but if you do want to bring like a lot of like different things, like if you have medicine or, you know, just anything like that, you know, lotion, if you want to bring extra shit. So like I said, if you really want to get through security quickly, um, you know, you don't have to take all your stuff out of your bag because a lot of venues are like different when it comes to that. But every stadium in the United States that is like NFL certified or whatever, basically you have to have like a clear bag or something like that or they'll search it or you probably just can't bring it in. It really depends on the person who's doing your security, but you wanna make the process as easy as possible and convenient for you. And also, it doesn't matter, this is just a random tangent real quick, but it does not matter if you have a clear bag and you put your pads and tampons in or like any of your 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 products for your vahoo your vagina. So basically, I recommend all these things because I'm gonna buy these things too. And I don't just recommend stuff just to recommend it. I think it's really important to have things that are gonna be like useful to you and make the concert experience so much more enjoyable. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, let me know. If you have anything you want me to talk about in my next video, leave a comment. And what's your quintessential thing that you bring to concerts or when you're going to concerts, like what are you looking forward to bringing the most? I know it sounds like a weird question, but honestly, when I prepare for concerts, I get excited over like one specific thing. And honestly, the thing for this might be the face mask or the spray, like the BT21 spray. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. Or the fan, because like, you know, you have a little fan, you're like. I got a fan. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and I'm 22. I'm everywhere on the internet, okay? when I was, my tan line. Oh my God, my tan line. Ah, ah, my tan line. Well, black people do tan. I mean, I knew it, but I just want to show everyone else.